Hey everyone, in this video, we are gonna look over some ETF picks recommended by Bloomberg for 2023. They got some experts to chime in on this. Uh, it is from January 6th, so it's a bit dated for this month's analysis, but the concepts are gonna be solid and you can use them for the next month. Uh, the link to the article is in the description below if you wanna check some stuff out in there as well. Let's take a look at the charts and see where we're at at the end of the month. Um, on this channel, we look closely at monthly closes. So here are the picks. Uh, they're in front of you. Net Garachi, president of the ETF store and investment advisor. He is recommending JPST or Mint, both of which have a 12-month yield of at least 1.83%. He also says to look towards international stocks for diversification. His picks are VEA and IEFA because these ETFs, they focus on developed markets which uh, typically means less uh, risk than the emerging markets. Uh, Brian Armour, he is a director of passive strategies at Morningstar. He's recommending BND and DFAC, which is a dimensional U.S. core equity two ETF. And it has about 7,200 companies that are uh, really swayed towards small cap stocks and uh, those with lower relative prices. Now, uh, Todd Rosenbluth, he's the last one on our list here. He's a researcher over at Vetify and he expects dividend ETFs to be in favor this year, all right? And he likes VYM because it has companies with above average dividend yields in more defensive sectors. If you want more tech exposure, he's also recommending SDOG. That fund uh, includes five of the highest yielding S&P stocks across 10 sectors, including tech, and it equal weights its holdings, okay? Next, uh, he recommends SPLV. All right, now that is the Invesco S&P 500 low volatility ETF. It is one of my favorites. So when the S&P goes risk on, uh, this is what I buy before uh, I even consider buying the SPY because uh, it has less risk risky sectors like utilities and consumer staples and healthcare and all that. And uh, lastly, he recommends USMV because it offers more diversification across sectors and it sets limits on how high or low the sector weights can be next to the broader market. So in front of us is our relative performance chart for the last three months leading into the monthly close, right? Up to December 30th. So <clears throat> I am looking for positive gains in the sectors. Anything below the zero line is a no-go, right? That's really not a problem here today because all of these are in positive territory. But positive momentum is not enough on this channel. I wouldn't be looking to buy uh, something like the strongest or the top strong, the top three strongest without checking something first. I want some bullish technical validation. I use the 200 SMA. It's simple and effective. Remember, guys, I'm not day trading here. I'm not even swing trading. We're looking for a month at a time, right? So I am looking for a close above the 200 SMA on the last trading day of the month as well, right? So let's take a look at some of the charts here. JPST, that's a go. Mint, that's a go. VEA, that's a go. IEFA, that's a go. Bond, no. BND, nope. DFAC, nope. VYM, doing it. SDOG, yes. SPLV, yes. And USMV, that's a yes. Those are all goals, right? So to recap, I'm looking for momentum above the zero line in the three months leading to the monthly close and closes above the 200 SMA in the sector. I would consider buying the first day of the new month or sometime in the first week. You'll use your favorite entry method to get into the trade, all right? <clears throat> Remember, January is out for now, at least for me it is, uh, if I was even considering these. Do the analysis next month, just like I showed, if you're still interested. Now, we did have some qualifiers, right? We had JPST, Mint, VEA, IFEA, VYM, SDOG, SPLV, and USMV. So what do we do from here? Well, what I would do is I would go back to my performance chart and find the top performers and make my choices from there, right? Uh, this chart is narrowed down to just the qualifiers. I would consider positions, however, uh, I would want to, like it could be the, the top one, it could be the top three, it could be five, it could be all of them. Well, you're going to decide, okay? Uh, thanks again for watching. Take a look at my other analysis videos and my portfolio updates. Cash flow comes to you.